Terrain feature definitions are practically identical to mesh feature definitions with the exception they are categorized by themselves so that when a user is going to define a feature definition for a terrain model only the entries listed as terrain model features will show up available to the user. So it's a way to isolate this particular listing for terrain models. But if you look at the properties of a terrain model feature definition, the description, the name seed, the item type, the volume option, and the surface feature symbology, they're all exactly the same as they are for mesh feature definitions. And they also use the same feature symbologies. Uh, for example, um, under here, we have one to look at for existing contours. The only thing to point out here is on the feature symbologies for terrains, one of the things that we did is assigned an annotation group that defines the existing strip grades on a profile or a plan and profile sheet, which you will learn how to take advantage of when we talk about annotation groups. The element templates used for the terrain feature symbologies are exactly the same as they were in Select Series 3 and Select Series 4. And so you'll have all of your categories here uh, for your calculated feature displays, your uh, feature settings, for, for example, contour intervals, symbologies, etc., and also for your source feature displays and your source feature settings. So all of that is the same for the element templates as it was prior in Select Series 4. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.